It's quite okay. all right. Not no problem. Yes, we're here uh, for the Math 1111 Zoom meeting. At, uh, November 19th, setting up the camera. We'll uh, ask for any questions. Okay. All right. Can y'all see the camera? Yep. Yes, I see it. All right. So y'all came out tonight. Y'all uh, got any questions or problems y'all want to see? I just had a question about the exam, like when the date is. Okay. Uh, now you talking about final exam? Final exam. Okay. That will be the week after Thanksgiving. Thank you. Yes. I am still trying to figure out exactly what day I'll make it available. Probably Tuesday of that week. And it'll probably be due by midnight Friday of that week. Okay. All right. And uh, that will and be- And this week's test starts on Friday. Yeah. Is that correct? That's correct. Just like all the other quizzes and everything, that's right. We, we give you the grade tomorrow or the, the, yeah, it'll be given out tomorrow and we'll make it due Sunday. Perfect, thank you. These, these will be the last grades of the semester. There was a web assigned grade this week and a, the test grade this week, no quiz grade this week. Okay, great. So there's just the test on fri this Friday, correct? Yes, this if Friday. Okay, great, thank you. Uh -huh. Covers all of chapter four, same formats, the other tests. Problems will be all worked out, some correct, some incorrect. And you'll have a Google form to submit true and false answers for the test okay. grade. And so if we study the um, test for uh, review sheet that you posted and we understand all of that information, we should do well on the test? That's the theory, yes. Okay, great, thank you. Just be really careful entering your answers. I've got some other people in some of the other classes complaining, I worked that problem right. It's and I entered the wrong, I entered it false when it should have been true. Dead, go it. <laughs> I don't know why or why they do that, but uh, you just be careful. I usually go over them twice okay. before I submit. All right. So let's see. Yeah, so we, we will hold next Monday and Tuesday the regular Zoom meetings. And all we will have to do is go over final exam review. Great. Okay. So we could do that off the sheet that I give you, or if you want to see anything else from early in the semester, be happy to work any problem anybody wants to see. Well, Is next week, I, I would like to attend next week, and I, and I do have some questions from earlier tests that I got wrong, and I just wanted to ask you maybe some of those questions so I know how to do it right. Sure thing. We'll have a session, uh, wait, regular, regular schedule, 12 o'clock Monday and 9 o'clock Monday. I'll be there. Thank you. Okay. Sure thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. So did y'all have anything particular you wanted to see tonight? I'm good personally. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, don't feel free to hang around. I mean, you know, you're welcome to hang around. If you want to leave, that's fine, too. Uh, Ms. Bauer, you've got anything you want to see? I'm just interested in anything that you want to um, work off of the test review sheet or something similar. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm actually more confused on the um, like number 7A from the test review sheet, um, sketching a graph y equals 3x plus 2. And then you have to write the domain and interval notation write the range and interval notation. Okay, so th this is off the test four review, right? Correct. Okay, I don't have that in front of me. So yeah, could you read that to me again? Certainly. 
Okay, this is the test for review. What, what do you have? Well, number 7A okay. says to sketch a graph, a graph rather, of y equals 3x, 3 to the power of x. 3 to the power of plus, x. Correct, plus right. 2. Plus 2. Okay. And then part B is write down the domain and interval no notation. Okay. And part, part C is write range and interval notation. Right. And that's it for seven. Okay. We can do the domain right now. That's automatic negative infinity to infinity on these things. Okay. You understand why that is? Not really, but I've learned to memorize the. Okay. That, that that's just the way it is. There's no fractions. Those are the two problems. No fractions, no square roots. In other words, you're never dividing by zero. Okay. And you uh, have no square root that you got to keep greater than or equal to zero so that you're not coming up with square roots of negatives with your eyes. Okay. So yeah, it works just like polynomials. I don't know if you remember back to the chapter three in the polynomials. I do remember that, yes. The, they had an automatic domain of minus infinity to infinity, you know, like x squared plus five x plus, they, they got no fractions, they got no square roots. And negative infinity to infinity. Is the automatic answer, meaning you can stick anything into them with no problems. Okay. Okay, okay thank but, you. Right, but the range, see, this is your x min and your x max horizontally. Your range, though, you'll have to do from a graph, y min and y max from a graph. There's no way to look at the formula and tell because it's your output. Okay, okay. so these are not hard to enter. Okay, uh, see, I'm in a weird mode from the other class. So back in the regular mode. Okay, so we go y equals, and you want three raised to the x plus two. My window, pretty standard, negative 10, 10, one, negative 10, one. All right, so if I graph, all right, I don't know if you can kind of tell. Do you remember what a straight three to the x would look like? If you remember the straight no. three to the x, I can compare it. If I put on, they, they kind of want you to see, you see how this is up to? I do understand that part, yes. Yeah, okay, so I'll just put on straight three to the x. Three raised to the x. Okay, so that goes through zero, one, because three to the zero equals one, and it dies to the x-axis. This is your horizontal asymptote, and it just goes up forever like that. So this is up two. So this intercept has gone up two, and then this horizontal asymptote is up two, which leaves it one below the intercept. See how the asymptote's one below the intercept? That always has to be true. So this has gone up. It's tough to see it from the tick marks, but basically this has gone up two. Okay. So, so then what, what is the horizontal asymptote? Is it? That, that's the line you approach but never touch. Okay, and so for three to the X, it is zero. 3 to the x is zero, so when this is up two for three to the x plus, it's y equal two. Okay, what if it were three to the power of x minus two? Then it would be down two, the horizontal asymptote would be y equal negative two. Y equals negative two. Okay, that was my question, and that answers it, thank you. Okay, so on the range, your minimum y here starts at two, number and I'm putting a parentheses because it does not cross it it's never equal to two 
and then it's going up to infinity y max. So this is the y min and y max. Now we stick a parenthesis because to show that it never exactly equals two. Okay. Okay. And you can see from the graph, see, there's there's no problems. You're 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 not having you no know, breaks in the curves, right? You, you can go all the way from there, all the way up to positive infinity. There's no problems at all in the domain. Okay. Could we um, evaluate number eight on the same review, which is really? to sketch a, sketch a graph of y equals negative e to the power of x minus three? Oh, let's, let's see, I'm sorry. Y equals negative e to the x. The power of x uh, minus three. Minus, x minus three. No, is the minus three in, in the exponent or outside? Uh, it's outside. Okay, so it looks like that, this. It does. It does. And do we want the same things, graph, domain, and range? And so what what you're what you're asking for in number eight A is sketch a graph a graph of that so and then b is to write the domain and interval notation and write the range and in interval notation good thing and again the range same exact thing negative infinity to infinity okay so on a graph i equals we'll clear these two off Negative comes from, you know, that bottom curve negative, and then E is above that LN, so second LN. And you have a straight X, close the parentheses and subtract three. And graph. Okay, so you kind of see it's kind of flipped around from your normal E to the X. And I believe um, old calculators got scratches on so me. One, two, three. Yeah, it's crossing at four. And notice how it's the asymptotes one above that. It's always one away, but it, since it's flipped over, it's one above. And it's going down like this. Okay, yes, I see that. Now, uh, okay, so we got the, got the graph, got the, okay, so look at the range. Uh, remember y min, y max. So it's diving, the minimum y would be negative. Infinity. Infinity, and then it's coming up. It's going above where it crosses that negative four, where it's crossing, let's get the glare off of that. See, it's going up and approaching negative three. Okay. Did, so you always use that outside number then as your y max, correct? Well, or min. The, on the other problem, it was a min. Sure. Right. Okay. But yes, it's one or the other, pretty much. Yes. So this one's going from negative three. I'm sorry, negative infinity up to negative three. Okay. So it y that makes sense. Yes. Up to yeah. negative three there. Whereas the other, since the other one was flipped up like this, the number appeared as the minimum and then went up to infinity. All right, any others? Um, well, so some of this, test review, I just had some difficulty with um, number three right. for the test review. Sure. Um, given n times parentheses t. Okay, and, okay that's not times, that, that's read n of t. n of t, n sorry. Of t. Yes. Yeah, that, that's a function notation, like y is f of x. 
Yeah, so it, right. they're trying to say a number in a population as a function of time. Right, and I knew that. I don't know why I said it, but um, uh, no problem. It's, it's, it's but yeah, you're used to it. Yeah, my my, my son would say it. Um, yeah, in times he that still haven't broke him of that either. But uh, go ahead. What what finish it? Well, it equals um, in, and then it looks like there's a lower O, like a base yeah. of zero. In in a zero. Um, this is the initial zero. amount. And then E to the RT power. Right. And so N equals population at time T. Right. N, N O equals initial size of population. Right. R equals the rate of growth. R is the growth rate, yeah. Population R is the growth rate. T is time in years. Correct. Right. And so what do they want you to do here? It says a fox population has a growth rate of 9%. All right. Which means 0 0.09. The population in 2013 okay. was 180,000. 180,000. That would be... Find the function. But, uh, probably the end zero. Okay. Go ahead. And then it says find a function which models the growth rate. Okay. Find a of foxes. Right. A function that models a growth rate of foxes. Okay. Plus years after and a uh, foxes and and years after 2013. Models growth rate. Yeah. So all you got to really do is plug and chug. It'd be n of t then equal to 180,000 to the n zero e to the 0 0.09 times t. So you just um, put that in the calculator? Well, no. If, if it just wants a function, that's basically an equation that models the growth rate, that this is it. So it, unless they want me to, and they probably do further down, I, you, you probably want me to find the population in some later year, that's when I'm well, gonna put it in the calculator. That, correct, number four is estimate the Fox population in 2021. All right, so T equals 2021. It says T equals eight, I guess. So that's, yes. I guess, 2013 Zero. plus Eight years would be 2021, correct? That's correct. Right. T equals zero, so 2021, 20, T equals eight. I really should say year here. So really, I'm trying to find N of eight. So I started 180,000, E to the 0 0.09 times eight. And you really should put this in parentheses. I have 180,000 clear off E 0 0.09 times eight. Three hundred and sixty nine thousand seven ninety seven. Thirty six is it thirty six thousand nine hundred seventy nine point eight. No, I think it's 369,000. I think that's 369,797. Okay. See, it started at 180,000, so it wouldn't have gone down to 36,000. It'd be 369,000. 797. You don't, you don't really need, I mean, you don't really have 0.97 of a fox, you know. But, you know, if, if, if you wrote this, I wouldn't mark it wrong. You can keep but in the answer key in yeah. the in the answer key you said 36 comma 979.8 okay so was it 180,000 or was it 18,000 how many zeros oh, after that 18 I, I I'm yeah I read it to you incorrectly it's 18,000 ah okay so we we got an extra zero here that's yeah 
So that, that's, that's why. why yeah, so the, the comma the, move. Yeah, yeah, that's why the comma moves. Okay, yeah, so the comma that makes sense. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Okay, yeah, I just, I tend to overanalyze these numbers and that's why I would make a terrible mathematician. Okay, no, no problem. Once you see it done, you realize it's not quite as hard as you think it is, but I know that's easy for me to say because I've been working with it for pretty long. Um, so I will just, um, if you want to just review some of the things, you know, that you, um, are on the test, I'm just going to sit back and listen as though I weren't here. Well, uh, I don't really have, I don't really have any specific questions. Some of the late, the, the, um, the early, the, not this past test, but the one before that, um, I had more confusions on. Okay. Well, I don't know if I should do those tonight since they're not going to be on this test. And, and you wait till next week for that, or do you want to see them now? Well, I'm, I'm at quiz, not test. I meant quiz, so maybe not this not the quiz that we just took, the quiz before that. I did not do so well on. I think I made like a seventy or seventy-five. Okay, yeah, I've done three full Zoom sessions before tonight. Um, that would be helpful. Yeah, I've, I've, so I don't know if maybe I beat this stuff to death. No, I watch them all. <laughs> oh, you have? Oh, my gosh. people actually watch. Wow, no, I, I actually watch. Go ahead. I just, well, I watch them all and then still sometimes I, um, it's just my brain. So um, could we go over number two, please, on the math 1111 test for review sheet? Um, I can give you the formula, the question. All right. So five to the power of X okay. equals four to the power of, and this is in parentheses, X plus one. So it looks like this. I mean, without the parentheses, but yes, it looks like right. that. Yeah, the, the parentheses don't make it. They, they can be there. They're right. understood, yes. Understood, yeah. Okay, and we're going to solve this? Um, yes, it says solve. Okay. So, see, th this is where there, there can be at least uh, three different ways you could go. Just scratch over here and show you. you, you could, so you got base five and base four. So you could do a log base five of five to the X. See, what you want to do is undo these things. And that equals log base five of four to the X minus one. And then this would undo. But you see, this one doesn't. Now you could also do a log base four of five to the X equals log base four of four to the X minus one. And you see this one does, but this one doesn't? Yes. All right. Now I have met people, they, they know they want to undo things and they will do a log base five, five to the X here and a log base four of four to the X minus one here. You see this one does, this one does, but do you, you see why you can't do that? I, I really don't. Okay, it's because, remember the absolute primary rule? Whatever you do to one side, you do to the- Other side. Other side. So I'm following that rule up here. I'm doing a log base five on both sides, or here I'm doing a log base four on both sides. But I'm violating the rule here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can, can okay, and so, Okay, so what I do is I don't do any of these. I use just a straight LN. Pretty much because it's on the calculator. It is on the calculator. 
And what does LN mean exactly? Natural log. Okay. Natural log. And its base is E. And that is what is right here. Put the glare off. See it? Yes. Okay. So you, you see how it's paired? Did we get across? Things that undo each other are paired on the keys. So if they write LN, its base is E, it undoes E. If they use LOG, its base is 10, it undoes a 10. That's the only two things they give you on the calculator. Okay. Okay, so what I do is I go ln of five to the x is equal to ln of four to the x plus, I'm sorry, it, I wrote minus one over here. It was, it was actually plus one, wasn't it? it uh, yes, it's plus oh, one. Yeah, so sorry, just for correctness. Okay, those should have been plus ones. Okay, so see, writing ln is identical to writing log of base e. Okay. A five to the yet, but you see that's a base five, a base C and a base five, they don't undo. So there was three laws of logs. Yes, I didn't have those with me, those okay. laws with me. There was a third law about exponents. So what I do since I can't cancel these, is I bring the exponents to the front. So that's an x log five. That follows what we call the third law. The ln a to the n yeah. equals the n ln to the capital A. N of log of a, right. You can bring a power down as a coefficient. Okay, well that makes, a hold on. you can bring a power down as a coefficient. On a log only. It's the only function with that property. Okay, so I do the same thing on this side. I have x plus one. Now I need the parentheses because when I write it this way, this log four would distribute. If I don't use the parentheses, it doesn't show the distribute. That makes more sense to me. Okay. What I usually do is I, on this one, let's see, go. Uh, what I usually do is like divide by one of these. Uh, maybe I'll divide by the log four. Again, as long as you do the same, you can do these things multiple ways. If, if you remember the directions, they'll want an exact answer. I don't know if I should take the time to get that or if I should just show you the approximate answer, but what that gives me is that gives me a coefficient of log five divided by log four times X. See, this is just numbers, just nasty numbers I could punch. And over here, I have a straight X plus one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I did this exactly the same way as I'm doing it on the key. Uh, Maybe I should just go ahead and get the, uh, forget the exact answer. Just, let's just go ahead and divide this and we'll just give you the approximate answer. So if I take LN of five and divide by LN of four, I'm getting 1.16096. We could call it 1.161. Okay. And then you just divide. Well, not quite yet. I want to move this X over. That's like a one X. So if I go minus one X minus one X, I'll get 0.161 X equals one. Yes. And now we divide by the 0.161. One divided by 0 0.161, 6.211, we'll call it. I hope that's close to what I have on the key. Uh, 
Zero nine. Okay, so a little bit Close of ramp enough. up there. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Close enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It, that yeah, I just didn't. I didn't understand the part about bringing the power down as a coefficient on that third log um, rule. And so my question is, when we have this test, it's not. Can we use our notes? We can use our notes, right? With this test, yeah. Now, see, ordinarily, this is where maybe you you got an advantage online. When we're in, I, I did thir thirty two years the regular class, and no, I never let anybody use their notes. It's math yeah. department policy; all tests are closed book. But you see, we're all in the class, and I can sit there and I can enforce that. But this is online; everybody's in their own house. <laughs> I got no way to enforce that, so I don't even try to make it a rule. It's basically right. equivalent to trying to tell you not to breathe. Right. <laughs> so, or tell well, it's, equal, it's equally as hard. I, you know, I, it's still well, very difficult well, to memorize these kinds of. So and as a nurse, I don't use any of this in my yeah, practice. I, I understand. So, yeah, you I mean, yeah, I can't keep you from using your nose. I wouldn't even tell you not to, you know, use use whatever you have. Um, but you do get one submission, so be careful with it. Okay. And uh, okay. But yeah, you you know you're free to use your notes and and everything. I I, I okay. try not to make rules about stuff I can't enforce, and online sure. I, I cannot enforce it, so I don't even try. So you don't. Okay. Okay. Well, this is helpful. Thank you so much. I I understand it a lot better now. Very good. Is there any others you'd like to see? It's almost like telling my son, quit growing up. I know. <laughs> I can say it and I don't want him to, but you can't tell. I mean, you know, you can't enforce it. He's going to grow up. I know. I have a 12 year old myself. Uh, okay. I, Mr. C, I think I have, um, I mean, I've got really good notes. I take, I watch all of the Zoom meetings and I've got really good notes. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Well, absolutely. Sure thing. Yeah, I'm glad somebody watches the Zoom meetings. I didn't know if anybody ever did. So. Oh, they are not. No, they are not for nothing. I promise. Okay, well, Definitely sure. helps with my grade this semester. Well, thank you so much. Okay, absolutely. Thank you for coming out. All right. Have a good evening. Yes. Same to you. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Bye. Let's see. It was Mr. Paul, right? You still there? You say something? Uh, yeah. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Paul, are you still there? Yeah. I had to go get a drink. Okay. Hey, no problem. Uh, do you, uh, let's see, do you want to see anything else or... I'm good. Okay. Well, I appreciate you coming out tonight. Again, the test. Oh, and I did want to mention I have finished 4-3 four, four and 4-4, four four, okay. as well as Quiz 9. Okay. Have you emailed me about 4-3 and 4-4? Four, four? I can look up Quiz 9, but you're supposed to email me your score on the web assign. Otherwise, I won't know what it is. If you've emailed me, I'll look it up on my email. I haven't checked my email since about 5 o'clock today. If you want to tell me now, I'll be happy to write it down now. Uh, I think I got a... Uh, oh, wait, never mind. I forgot. I redid it. Okay. I got 100 on the web assigns, and then I think I got... A 90 on my quiz. Okay, well, I can look up the quiz. I always do that. But uh, yeah, the web assign, you're supposed to email me because, you know, the, I, you know, I, I pre screen the problem. So I'm not assigning all the problems. So yeah, you're supposed to kind of work them and then tell me what you got. So you, you're saying on 4.3 and 4.4, 4, you got 100 on the web assign? Yes. Okay, I just recorded that and I'll look up quiz nine. All right.
Well, All right. Well, I appreciate you coming out tonight. And again, yeah, Monday we'll have. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thank you. Have a good evening.